Hey guys, Sir Shuevi bringing you another episode of Sly Sundays, and in this episode we're going to be going through the tunnel in Riley's fortress, or Riley's ship. Never was good at math. Well, here's a real test for you. I found a way out to Raleigh's hideout, but unfortunately, it is doomed to failure. How is it doomed to failure? To Please elaborate. Out of that cannon. I'm afraid that's the only way. Now you're talking. <laughs> you're scaring me, man. Anyway, to get inside that thing, you have to steal all seven of Raleigh's treasure keys. Not that hard. So we have five already. You show me those hollow what's it? You mean my holographic markers? Yeah, yeah. And I'll swipe whatever it takes to get shot out of that cannon and steal back my family's devious raccoonus. All right. So, we're going to be tackling on another world. We need, I believe there's one world and the other world's going to be up top over here. I do not like that world that's over there, so I'm going to be tackling that on last. Just because of the shits and giggles. It's going to be quite funny watching me uh, potentially rage. Oh, God. Nope. Uh, there's nobody there. Obviously, there's no one there, even though you clearly saw somebody already. There's obviously no one there at all. So you obviously want to turn your back on them, you know. Because that, that's just a thing you do. You turn your back on them. Anyways, <laughs> this is so freaking cheap. It shows you right away that where there's a bunch of... Where there's a bunch of bottles. So if you guys are wondering why I was quiet there, it's because I was trying to see if I could hear what that guy was saying, but I could not, so that's unfortunately a thing. Also, we're going to want to go over here in order to collect... You know what? Screw it. Just tank the last one. doesn't matter. We're right here anyways. And then we're going to want to go back in order to collect those two bottles that are found over here. Also, we can already see where the key is. This is such a short world, and yet they make it in such a way that it's longer than it than it appears. Also that's what she said. Uh yeah. <laughs> but I really like the way that they designed this world because they force you to, you know it looks like it's a straightforward path. It's not. You have to go over here and then you have to double back going this way in order to go around. That's that's one of the things I really enjoyed about games back in the day. They had limited space, but the way that they used the space was so so ingenious that it really just it just boggles my mind like how some modern day games they don't take advantage of their okay then that's a thing uh, was that two or nope that's just one lucky charm okay no problem with that technically that should have been two but no problem at all just just being worth one anyways let's also just check to see nope everything's forward so we're good uh, do I want to jump down there I'm not sure I want to no, we, we can just bypass that guy completely. We don't even have to fight him. This guy, however, we could also bypass. But I just, I just wanted to hit him, you know, just because it's fun. You know, domestic violence and all these other things. Also, I should probably stop before people think that I'm actually talking about real domestic violence. Anyways, let's uh, let's just venture forward. I wasted my lucky charm once more, so now I'm back down to the silver. That's that's just brilliant. You know what? I'm not even supposed to go that way. I totally just realized. I'm supposed to go this way. There are coins there that signify the correct direction I have to take. Also, you want to be a bit careful with this dude. Once he's out of the way, of course, you can just take your sweet time uh, with it. And I don't think we've crossed the, the safe yet, have we? We're at 20. Um... I don't think we've seen the safe yet, have we? Oh, man, I, I'm having a, a tough time, honestly. Yeah, there you go, there's a safe. Woohoo! We didn't cross the safe yet, so now we're still good. Alright, I just need the code, Bentley. 719. 
Way to go, Ben. And once more, another page of the Thievish Raccoon is ours. Oh, you're lucky, Sly. This page features Karen Kuprigiwa's coin magnet technique. All she had to do was stand near money, and it would magically jump into her purse. From now this on, is you'll awesome. Collect any coins you come near. One of the best power-ups, honestly, that you could probably get in a game where you are a thief. That's freaking awesome. Also, we don't need your rope. We can just jump on top of the safe and do that. Because we're a raccoon and a thief. And that's what we do. Anyways, let's move on to the seventh world, or the sixth world, rather. I believe that's the sixth world. Yes, because there are seven keys in total. And we've already went into uh, all the worlds. We already had one key from before. Anyways, I believe what you want to do is just wait for him to destroy this. Yeah. See, it's so freaking awesome because you just have to stand there. Also, there's a life over here if you want to make the jump for it. So that's always a thing. And there's the this is the world I don't like. Not because it's not fun or anything, just because it's a little bit challenging from what I, rec I can recall. Then again, it's been such a long time since I've played this world. It's, it's really easy. Use the left stick to move around your submarine. You use the right stick in order to shoot. And I believe what you want to do is you want to kill all of these crabs before... I believe it's um, crabs. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing that right now, bro. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of already explained that, Bentley. You might want to get along, with, get on with the gameplay. Oh yeah. Yep, I know. I know. I could do this. There you go. Collect ten chests and not let one let a crab take one into a tube. So we have. 40 chests, sorry. So what you want to do is, of course, you want to open all of the chests as fast as possible while also uh, killing off all the, any crabs that get nearby. Best way to do so is just kill every single crab you see. Worry about the chest later. Just kill every single freaking crab that you see. And once you do that, you don't really have to worry about um, opening the chest because there's not going to be crabs that are taking them, so... You know, you can just take it a bit easier. Also, you do not want to let them all huddle up right here. Like, I, like that was about... Oh, that was happening. Oh, God, it's 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 hectic. It's hectic. This is... Yep, this is the part I don't... Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. No. No, 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 Screw you. Screw you, crab. Crabs multiple crabs. No! Oh my god. Oh. Oh my god. I'm not even sure how close I was, dude. I think twice I was so close to failing. Oh, Jesus. That was such a close call. Oh my god. Oh. Anyways, let's finish this episode by opening the cannon. So, there's all seven keys. Boom. All we have to do is just, of course, just hop onto this. Um, oh, there you go. Jump into the little hole. And somehow it just shoots us straight into... The, sh the glass, which doesn't kill us at that velocity. Video games for you. And here we go. We are going to fight Riley. Or Riley, I don't know what his name is. We have a guest. The only thing is... I hate unexpected guests! Listen, Riley. Wipe up my family and steal what's mine. You better expect company. Oh, I'm ever so sorry. How sloppy of me not to finish the job. Obviously, we should have snuffed you out as well. <laughs> so, without further ado, let me make amends by what? Floating to gargantuan size! So, that's the gimmick Locking of this boss fight. Bug that you are. Bring it on. He is going to bloat to gigantic size by eating 
I believe they're frogs, or not frogs, by eating, I believe, fries. Fries? Really? <sighs> Don't know why I said fries. I totally meant to say, um, by eating flies. So, the main gimmick, of course, is as soon as he turns tiny, you want to spot him. Let's count. Let's see, that's one, two hops, three hops, four hops. On his fourth hop. Okay, so four hops, and then he turns tiny. All right. I believe we can also keep him on the same thing. We don't actually have to go around. So that's two. That's three. That's going to be four. Oh, God. Nope. I was wrong. There you go. First one, easy. You don't have to worry that much. Then it gets a bit hard. You see all of those red lights? That means warning. You stay away from those. And then you basically have to avoid him just by... Uh, in one platform and slowly the difficulty increases man it's going to be a little bit tough because any platform that he is on like that will get tiny so what you want to do is you just want to stay with him on the same platform as soon as you see that there's no red light just go immediately for the hit because that's going to happen and I believe this is going to be the last... Oh god, I forgot about that spinning tongue. The spinning tongue. Fear the spinning tongue. The lordy. Oh my lord. Oh god. Honestly, I forgot about that spinning tongue completely until it just happened. Oh, thank god. <laughs> That's going to be the title. Fear the tongue. Oh god, that was honestly a surprise. City is so well guarded, a snake couldn't slither in without setting off alarms. <coughs> and he died. Raleigh's section of the Thievius Raccoonus held detailed instructions on how to perform my ancestor Ryoichi Cooper's ninja spy. Ryoichi jet. Cooper. A technique he developed while sneaking into the thickly fortified castles of feudal Japan. Finding a way off Raleigh's boat got a little tricky with the untimely arrival of Inspector Fox. Who, failing to find me, busted Raleigh and his crew. Hot chick with gun busts amphibious yuck mouth. <laughs> oh, that's honey. That's honey? That's funny. Lord, I don't know what's up with me and not speaking English. My gang and I loafed around England for a while, enjoying the pleasant weather. And then headed back home, excited for our next heist. It's funny when you think about all of the things that they steal the successfully. Your mission map up on the wall. You can use it to warp directly to any levels you've already visited. Will do. So as you guys can see, we have seven out of seven keys, six out of six safes, and zero of six time trials. I don't know if I want to do the time trials. Uh, maybe later on in the project I'll be tempted to try, but for now. Uh, I kind of don't want to just because, well, it's very frustrating. Um, but yeah, as you guys can see as well, we as soon as we finish World successfully, uh, we also steal some things, such as, for whatever reason, someone decided to bring a little crab with us on board, wherever this headquarters is. A statue of some frog god thing, a skull, a wheel, and some sort of... Rockfish, ang rock anglerfish thing. To to Anyways, city. here is Mesa City, and of course, if we go to the next one, <laughs> we can see Murray just being himself. As always, he is so freaking cute. <laughs> oh my god, the things that he does is ever enlightening. <laughs> oh man, honestly, if you're not. If you don't find this guy funny or entertaining in a way, something is honestly wrong with you. He's one of my favorite characters in the Sly series. My first favorite character is probably, believe it or not, Bentley. Just because I kind of relate to him. But, yeah. Second favorite, Murray. Third favorite would probably be Sly Cooper and then probably Carmelita Fox. And I'm talking about some someone that occurs in all of the uh, the games, you know, recur reoccurring characters. So the main four. Anyways, see you guys in the next episode. As always, thank you guys for watching. Take care and goodbye, sirs. Like,
some of the days that I was going No pattern following the pain, it was still growing My mama always said if you were painted, do not show it So I kept my heart cold in New York while it was snowing It's the fact you feel to notice, but the fact that you should notice It's said to be without regrets and told without provoking The greatest story told and the greatest story known I swear this shit was destiny because I never chose this I got high in high school and I drunk and I flunked school Yes, I was a dumb dude Changed my ways and went to French class. Shabu there, Paul Lepon said, I guess a French ass. I met this kid, he claimed that he could rap. I spit up off of him and he spit up all back. Amazing my face, said we should rap. Well, some tracks didn't know that they were birth.